Once again, hello and welcome to GoGeekO.com. This video covers update strategy transformation within Informatica Power Center. Update strategy transformation is mainly used to update, insert, or delete values in a table based on a primary key. Mainly, we use update strategy transformation to update or delete values from a table. Because for insert, you don't need any update strategy transformation. You can simply link your columns or fields from your prior transformation into the target without using update strategy transformation. And actually, we have seen that in my prior videos because I have never used the update strategy transformation there and still we were able to insert values. Also, update strategy transformation is used in the slowly changing dimension mappings for type 1, 2, or 3 because in every of these mappings, there is a need to update values and we will see an example of SCD type 2. Keep in mind to select data driven property at session level whenever you are using the update strategy transformation otherwise your updates and deletes will not work properly all right so i think at this time we are ready to jump right into the update update strategy transformation and see how it works so now i have opened my informatica designer tool you are seeing a mapping lookup functionality mapping which we have developed before and i would be reusing the same mapping to demonstrate the update strategy transformation let me make a copy of that so that's how you make a copy of your mapping in informatica power center this is really helpful let's say if you are updating a mapping and if you are not using versioning control you can always back up your original mapping before you make any changes this is a very very good practice so always back up your mappings if making any changes so that you can always revert back to your original mapping in case something goes wrong in this case let's copy as update functionality now if you remember what we have done in this mapping was to find out insert or updates based on the lookup so if you look at my router group condition my update says wherever my customer id is not null pass that data into the update group which means that data already exists in my target table now let's get another target in because that's where we would be updating our data and also bring in the update strategy transformation from here or again you can simply create it using this link this is the update strategy transformation so once you do that you bring in your data from here into your update strategy transformation now in this case what i would be demonstrating is that let's say somebody moved from one place to another and they changed their state so we will update the state and let's also update the city always remember that update strategy works based on primary key so you need a key so that informatica knows that whenever value of this id matches the value of this id in the target table it will update the same row based on that id let's connect the city and state columns because these are the columns i will be updating one more thing i want to mention here is if you don't have a primary key in your target table which sometimes is the case then you can still update in your properties and doing an update override this i will cover in my other videos but for now i just wanted to give you a hint that this is possible so let's save it 
and let me just arrange our iconic and just wanted to show you a flow here this is actually an scd type 2 mapping or slowly changing dimension type 2 mapping in this mapping the data is coming from source and you match it in the lookup transformation to see whether that exists in your target or not and if it does exist then you're updating that data and if that does not exist then you simply insert that data now let's create a workflow and a session for this next this looks good finish So because this mapping has a primary key, therefore I need to do the target load type as normal. Let me quickly also make one more change in the mapping so that it's easy to read which one is my insert and which one is my update. And this is also a good practice to name your targets accordingly. So I'm here and I forgot previously that I did not put what this update strategy is going to do. So for that, you need to go to properties. And if you see, it says update strategies expression. What you need to do is you need to write DD underscore update here. So in case if you want to delete, you need to simply write DD underscore delete. You can also write dd underscore insert, but to me that does not make much sense because you can still insert the data without update strategy transformation. So let's go back and always refresh your mapping and then validate your mapping whenever you make any changes so if you look at that in properties treat source rows as data driven always with update strategy you need to choose data driven from all these different options i already have data driven here now let's go back to my source and define where my source is so let me get the path for my source and paste it over here so this is my source path my target connection is fine my target load type should be normal in this case and this is for insert so I will just only check insert and I will uncheck the rest and this looks fine and for update I will only check update as update and uncheck the rest update as update means whichever rows comes with a flag as update then go and update that value so if I go back to my mapping when I wrote dd update what it does it it only flags the row that this row is for update and then in my session it will read if the row is flagged as update this session needs to update that row one more thing i also want to tell you at this point is in case you are not familiar or if you are not figuring out what this option means informatica has a very good help information and let's say if you are stuck here update as update you can simply press f1 and informatica will immediately open the page related to that particular property so in this case it opened update as update here and you can see what does that mean this is the quick tip which i wanted to give you guys with this tutorial as well so let me close that and i think we are all set let me quickly check whether we have any data in my target table or not so there is some data let me truncate that so if you can think logically there is no data in my target table so what should happen is as soon as i run my workflow it will first insert all the data so let's see that in action start workflow let's go here got succeeded and if you look at that it has inserted the 14 rows now let's run it again now it has gone to the update route and it has updated the 14 rows but because i have not changed anything in my source data it doesn't matter the output should be exactly same so let's check the data in our target table at least it has been loaded now let's go back to my source file and i will update something so that 
that our update strategy transformation will work let me simply update the city to some rockford and state will be illinois i l now let's run the mapping again it should still update the 14 rows and it did let's check our data in the target so this one should become rockford and this one should become i l as an illinois and it did so this is all about the update strategy transformation with this video now you should know how to use the update strategy transformation and this transformation will be very helpful whenever you are in the need of updating or deleting your data using informatica mapping this completes this particular video and in our next tutorial we would be covering more power center transformations thanks for watching this video and do check out our website gogeeko.com for more easy to learn videos bye now